chapter 5 the southern plateaus let's learn introduction location central highlands deccan plateau and life in the region introduction a plateau is an elevated flat land form that rises sharply above the surrounding area it is always higher than the surface around it but lower than the mountains plateaus are built over millions of years as pieces of earth's crust smash into each other melt and gurgle back towards the surface the godavari river and its tributaries including the indravati river drain most of the northern portions of the peninsular plateau also known as the southern plateaus as the river narmada divides it into two parts the river godavari rises in the western ghats and flows east towards the bay of bengal the surface of southern plateau is rocky and uneven the southern plateaus cover a large part of india they stretch 1600 kilometers from north to south and 1400 kilometers from east to west compared to the northern portion of the southern plateaus known as the central highlands the southern part also known as the deccan plateau gradually rises higher going down south the deccan plateau forms the major part of the peninsular plateau of india info hive the highest and biggest plateau on earth the tibetan plateau in east asia resulted from a collision between two tectonic plates it is also called the roof of the world southern plateaus location the southern plateaus are surrounded by the hill ranges on all sides the aravalli hills are in the north west and the raj mahal hills in the north east the eastern ghats and western ghats are towards the east and west respectively the southern plateaus are triangular in shape the central highlands and the deccan plateau together form the southern plateaus in four hive plateaus also form in the ocean such as the muscarine plateau in the indian ocean central highlands the central highlands extend from the narmada river to the northern plains aravalli is the most important range of mountains of central highlands which extends from gujarat through rajasthan to delhi the malwa plateau and chota nagpur plateau are parts of the central highlands river betwa chambal and kain are the important rivers of malwa plateau while mahadeo kemur and mekal are the important hills of chota nagpur plateau the chota nagpur plateau includes the states of jharkhand chatisgarh and odisha the chota nagpur plateau is rich in minerals especially coal the other minerals are iron manganese bauxite and mica the main mining centers are jharia giridhi bokaro and rani ganj info hive the highest peak of the aravalli range is guru shikhar 1722 meter near mount abu the deccan plateau the deccan plateau the largest in india stretches from the satpura range to the southern tip of india deccan plateau is surrounded by the western and the eastern ghats they meet at the nilgiri hills in the western ghats the rivers like godavari bhima and krishna flow eastward 
while the river Tapti flows westward. The western ghats include Anamalai, Sahyadri, Nilgiri, and Cardamom Hills. The highest peak in this region is Anaimudi, 2,695 meter. The eastern ghats are a discontinuous low belt. The famous hills are Mahindragiri Hills, Nimaigiri Hills, Nala Malai, Koli Malai. The highest peak in this region is Mahindragiri, 1,501 meter. The main rivers are Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri. The black soil area in the Deccan Plateau is known as Deccan Trap. It is formed due to volcanic eruptions. The soil is good for cotton and sugar cane cultivation. Godavari is the longest river in the Deccan Plateau. The main crops grown here are cotton. Sugar cane, rice, groundnut, and tobacco. Info Hive. The Deccan Plateau has an average height of 600 meter, and the general slope is towards southeast. Info Hive. Topography is the description of various features and landscape on the surface of the earth. Brain Tickler. Which soil is considered the best agricultural soil? Life in the region. The plateau regions of Maharashtra, Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha comprise the southern plateau. Maharashtra. Maharashtra is one of the wealthiest and the most developed states in India. It is located in North Central Peninsula, India. Godavari and Krishna are the main rivers. The people of Maharashtra have a rich traditional heritage. Women wear a special sari called Navari Nine Yard. Men usually wear the dhoti or trouser and a shirt, which they call the feta. Ganesh Chaturthi is the most popular festival. People mainly speak Marathi and Konkani. The region has black soil, which is good for growing sugar cane, cotton, and millet. Alfonso mangoes are also grown in the state. Info Hive. The Bombay Stock Exchange is the oldest in Asia. Jharkhand. Jharkhand is a state in eastern India. It was carved out of Bihar on 15th November 2000. Ranchi, capital of Jharkhand, is also called the city of waterfalls and lakes. Deoghar is a famous Hindu pilgrimage center. Other big cities are Jamshedpur, Bokaro, Dhanbad, Hazaribagh. Info Hive. Jamshedpur is the first planned industrial city of India, founded by the late Jamshedji Nusarwanji Tata. The state is rich in iron, coal, copper, and mica. Major crops grown are pulses, rice, wheat. And maize. Brain tickler. Name the two states of India rich in iron ore. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. In Andhra Pradesh, more than sixty percent of the total working population is linked with agriculture. It is the largest producer of tobacco in India. Kuchipudi is the traditional dance form of the state. Info Hive, Andhra Pradesh is the state with the most cinema halls in India. Hyderabad in Telangana state is famous for its Hyderabadi biryani. Bidri work on brass and copper is also famous here. Tirupati is a major pilgrimage spot of India. Main language spoken here is Telugu. A huge statue of Lord Buddha. In the Hussein Sagar at Hyderabad 
इज अ मस्ट विजिट विशाखापटनम इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कमर्शियल सेंटर ऑफ द स्टेट आंध्र प्रदेश हैज ऑफन बीन कॉल्ड द फूड बाउल ऑफ द साउथ द स्टेट इज होम टू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट टाइगर रिजर्व इन द नलमाला फॉरेस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप्स ग्रोन हेयर आर राइस जवार बाजरा रागी स्मॉल मिलेट कॉटन शुगर केन पल्सेस ग्राउंड नट बनानाज एंड टोबैको द कैपिटल इज इन फैक्ट अ ट्विन सिटी हैदराबाद एंड सिकंदराबाद द ट्विन सिटीज ऑफ हैदराबाद एंड सिकंदराबाद आर लिंक्ड टुगेदर बाय द हुसैन सागर Odisha Odisha is located in the north eastern part of the country Bhuvaneshwar the capital city of Odisha is also called the temple city of India Katak is major industrial city Odissi is the classical dance form of Odisha Jagannath Rath Yatra is a major Hindu festival which is held annually at Puri The Similipal Biosphere Reserve in Mayurbhanj district of Odisha is a UNESCO World Heritage site The Nandan Kanan Zoological Park near Bhuvaneshwar is home to white tigers Madhya Pradesh Madhya Pradesh is located in the heart of the country its capital is Bhopal The Dhoopgarh Peak that is 1350 meters near Panchmari Hill Station in South Central Madhya Pradesh is the state's highest point Other big cities are Gwalior, Jabalpur and Indore. Madhya Pradesh has a number of national parks and many wildlife sanctuaries of which the best known are Kanha National Park for the Bara Singha Bandhavgad National Park for the endangered white tigers and Madhav National Park where there is a bird sanctuary Khajuraho is a famous temple down here Panna city is known for its diamond mines Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu lies in the southernmost part of the Indian peninsula its official language is Tamil Kanchipuram Madurai Vellore Thanjavur and Coimbatore are the main cities Uti and Kodai Kanal are the popular hill stations Pongal is a famous harvest festival Bharatanatyam is the traditional dance form textile mills and engineering industries are present around the city of Coimbatore therefore it is called the Manchester of South India Kanchipuram is world famous for its pure zari silk sarees and handloom silk weaving industries Tamil Nadu is the largest producer of turmeric Info Hive Marina Beach is the longest urban beach in the country Recap Plateaus are built over millions of years as pieces of earth's crust smash into each other melt and gurgle back towards the surface the black soil area in the deccan plateau is known as deccan trap it is formed due to volcanic eruptions river narmada divides the southern plateau into two parts the central highlands and the deccan plateau in the western ghats the rivers like godavari bhima and krishna flow eastward while the rivers tapti and narmada flow westward anaimudi is the highest peak in the western ghats values for life we should respect the cultures of different parts of our country and also respect the people for the contribution that they make towards the progress and prosperity of the nation